What's going on YouTube and welcome to this video. One second here. Got my light on now so you can actually see me, but hang on. We'll see. What do I like? I think we like this. What's going on everybody? Welcome to the video. Today we are doing a, a review. This is not a review channel, but two, I have two artists and I'm going to do two different videos. Um, on two artists that I don't, that are, that, um, are not mainstream that I really, really enjoy. And I'm picking their favorite songs. The first one up in this video is going to be Savannah Dexter. Now, if you guys don't know who she is, please look her up. I'm going to be playing the song. I'm not going to do the video. I'm going to link the video in the, vid er, link the, video in the description because I want her to get the view. Actually, something really cool about her. She actually, um, when you uh, like her on Instagram, which I have an Instagram now, guys. It is Power Fitness Disc Golf. Uh, because I power lift and I like fitness and I like disc golf. Anyway, uh, that's not about this video, but I just want to throw that out there. But the cool thing about this one is when you like her on Instagram, I'm not quite sure if it's her or if it is her marketing team. Um, I'd like to think that it's actually her being genuine because a lot of her music is very genuine and very real. Uh, but they actually ask you how long you've been a fan and things like that. And you can actually talk to them. That being said, guys, we're going to get into this video. This is my favorite song from her. This is not the song that I um, originally found her. Uh, it which was Big Trucks, which is with uh, Demon Jones, um, Adam Calhoun, and... Can't think of the other one. D uh, Dusty, uh, what is his name? I can't think of his name. Anyway, um, we're going to get into this. This is, I remember everything. This song is my favorite song. Um, Big Trucks is my favorite video. We'll put it that way. Um, if you watch that, that video, you'll see why. Um, it's not too hard to figure that out. But as far as song-wise, this is my favorite. This is really real. And as you know, I try to keep it real on this channel, so um, we're going to play it, okay? I might stop it a few times just to let you, you know, to put my feedback in. But this is really, like I said, my favorite song from her um, to listen to. If you want to watch the video, which the video is really good, I would definitely recommend that you go to her YouTube channel. Like I said, I want her to get the view um, for the video. She's very, very good. Um, uh, her videos are very good, really well thought out, and very artistic. So, anyway, guys, on with the video. Here we go. <laughs> I don't know if I said it, but it's this, uh, I remember everything. Just, whoop, wrong song. Here we go. Just from hearing that little bit, you guys see why I really like this artist. She's very real. Um, Ellie, her music is very real. It's very open and honest about things that actually happened in life. Um, like, uh, you know, being evicted. You know, uh, basically having nothing and, and making a career out of nothing. And the last, uh, last lyric, you know, um, being... The R word, I'm not going to say, um, and their oppression, you know, that happens so often, and it's very sad that it happens. Um, but anyway, guys, back to the video, sorry, back to the, the song, but like, yeah, I'm going to be stopping this a lot because this song really hits me. Anyway. I said I hate to admit, I give it all back just to forget. But if I told you I was in and out of ten different schools, 
guys can see, this this song is so real. Um, there are certain things that I definitely, definitely uh, agree with. I've never been married yet. I have a beautiful fiance, which we're getting married in July. But um, I've been in some crazy relationships, so I fully understand that. The whole bullying thing happens a lot. I mean, <laughs> um, I got bullied all the way up through school, and I fully understand that. Um, I was 150 pounds at 13. Uh, I had a doctor look me in the face and tell me that if I didn't do this, um, I was going to get diabetes and die young. So I fully understand that. But again, back to the video. I'm trying not to cut this video so you guys can actually hear um, the realism in this song and why it is my favorite song. Plus, I don't want the video to be too long. But <laughs> I don't know. I really, really like this song. So. Everything. Yeah, guys, like I said, this song, I can connect with almost everything that this song says. Um, I know what it's like, I'm going to shut it off because I don't want the next song to play, but um, I know what having insecurities is like. Uh, everybody always says that I'm very positive and I really, really try to be positive, but I know what that's like. To not be proud of yourself, no matter what you do, and I like songs like that because it, you know, when you're in that slump, you can listen to it and really vibe with it, and then you can think about, you know, this person made it out of that, I can too. So, like I said, my favorite Savannah Dexter song, um, it was going to be Cinderella, honestly. Uh, but then I heard this song. I was like, yep, yeah, nope, my favorite song has changed. I've listened to it. I've known, I've been a Savannah Dexter fan for probably a week. I've listened to this song maybe 15, 20 times. So, um, but anyway, guys, we're going to move on to the next artist. Uh, but I definitely want to give them, give her her due. Like I said, please, 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 if you like this song, um, go check her out. You know, go, uh. On her YouTube and uh, make uh, and uh, and watch the video uh, because the video, is, for the, especially for this song, um, really really hits home with the the song. Um, the visuals are great, but anyway, guys, that's the video. Peace.